Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Empress Moon Tarot 777. My name is Kimmy. Very happy to have you here today at my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, please be sure to click that lovely subscribe button down below. Please click this, click the little bell if you want to stay notified of when I go live. As always, very happy to have each and every one of you here. All right, this is going to be the weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius. As this is a general reading, please keep in mind not everything will resonate with you. Take what does and sweep away what doesn't. Do not worry about it if you find that something is not resonating. As usual, this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. All right. Aquarius, we are going to cut the deck here in just a moment for you and see what we have for your week. If at any point in time you feel drawn back to this reading. Okay, Aquarius, so I planned on splitting the deck, but apparently um, the spirit felt otherwise. So we have the star card crossed by the lovers. This could either be you and another person going through a period of some sort of healing, um, you making a decision regarding a love situation that um, is a dream of yours. All right. Down at the bottom of our spread, we have the devil. So, yes, this is healing. This is healing. Healing for a love connection. One in which the two of you may, you, you may be coming to a point of codependency. Um, which is the danger with the lover's card. Having the devil down here, I do feel like there is a codependency issue here, Aquarius, between you and another individual. Um, this particular situation, however, having, having the star card here at the center is saying that it is going through a period of healing now. That there is currently healing occurring in this connection. Recent past, please, for Aquarius. Recent past, we have the Three of Coins. Three of Coins is working together. I feel like you and another person were coming to a point of compromise. There may have been a very difficult dynamic between you and this individual. What is on Aquarius's mind, please? Ooh, I threw cards. What is on the mind of our Aquarians, please, Dream Team? Wow. Love, love is on your mind, Aquarius. Love, 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 love. A desire for happiness, a desire for togetherness, a desire for love, a desire for um, restoring this connection to a period of peace and happiness. You probably had um, a period of happiness with this person previously. This is not, when we have the Ten of Cups here, this is not a brand new connection. This is a connection that has um, withstood a lot of time. It takes a period of growth to get to the Ten of Cups. Near future. Ooh, Nine of Swords, Aquarius. Near future, Nine of Swords. So, you know, in the next week or so, you may be dealing with some, some struggles um, keeping yourself up at night, being worried and fearful. I, you know, Aquarius, I, I'm sensing that the worry here is, it appears to be with regards to your partner's actions. Um, you know, because we have it coming to a point of compromise, healing, but yet worried. It's you're worried that, that your person is going to change or that your person is not going to follow through. Um, we'll know more in the extended. Right now, you'd rather focus on something other than the connection because of all this worry. 
I feel like you're trying to put more energy into something else. The Magician. I feel like your partner sees you trying in this connection. That could be this too. This two of coins could be you putting a lot of effort into the connection. Your partner sees you trying. They see that, you know, you're working hard to kind of get control of some aspect of the situation. I feel like it's this codependency. They see you trying, um, but I, I feel like there's a sense of judgment there. I don't know why I'm feeling a sense of judgment. And not the judgment card, but it's almost like you're being evaluated on how well you're getting control of your emotions or vice versa. Hopes and fears for Aquarius, please. Hierophants. You're hoping everything is going to work itself out. If you're in a long-term relationship already with this person, you may be hoping to move towards marriage at some point in time. You may be hoping to restore the connection. If you're not in a long-term relationship with this person, you may be hoping that you'll move in that direction. Potential outcome here for Aquarius, please. Potential outcome. Hanged, hanging man. You're going to be stuck, stuck this week, Aquarius. You're going to be stuck. Um, with that hanging man, it, it's pausing to look at the situation from different viewpoints. With you being in this energy of these worries and these fears and then staying stuck in this energy, uh, I don't feel it's going to serve you very well, Aquarius. Let's see if we can get some more um, additional insight. Dream Team, some additional insight, please, for Aquarius. All right, so we got three already. Four of coins. Yeah. Eight of swords. Nine of wands. Aquarius, you need to let go of the fear, dear. You need to let go of the fear. Um, for whichever, whomever Aquarius, whichever Aquarius is dealing with this situation, you need to release the fear because the fear is, is causing you to kind of hide, hide behind a wall. Fears, fears, fears. One more, please. One more, please. Page of Wands. Page of Wands holds on to something that makes them feel alive, makes, makes them feel loved. This could be also be a message because our pages are messengers. It could be a message of a new idea. It could be a message of a new direction. Um, Aquarius, we have some really, really tough energies here for you this, you know, over this week. The concern is that you're remaining in this state of fear and the fear will continue to keep this codependent energy between the two of you. So this is something that you, you need to work through. Now, if this, if you're saying, no, you know, I'm not the one who's fearful, it's my person. Um, well, that's fine, but your person needs to work through it. You know, this can always be vice versa. There's a very, very strong codependent energy here and a strong fear um, that seems to be driving this connection right now during this week. From your standpoint, Aquarius. Let's see what we've got in Romance Angels advice. Aquarius, Aquarius. All right. All right, Aquarius. We got a lot of cards that I'm only taking, you know, the top ones. So hold on. All right. 
Aquarius. Aquarius, you need to release this fear. So we have true love. So if you're concerned about whether or not your person cares about you and that's where the fear lies, we see true love here. There's at least true love on your part, so show some unconditional love towards your person. Forgiving and learning. Whatever has happened between the two of you, forgiveness needs to be extended or received. And then we have finances and career could be playing a part. You're obviously putting a lot of effort into that. And we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. The effort, I feel, you need to put in here, Aquarius, is if you are resonating with the fear side of things, the effort you need to put in is to get over the fear associated with this. Yep, chop wood. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut out the fear. Release the fear. Let the fear go. Chop it away. Chop out the fear. Any Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy fans there? 42. <laughs> There's your answer, Aquarius. Chop out the fear. Get rid of the fear. Um, for those of you that want signs called, I will do that over in the extended. Um, please keep in mind that signs are really kind of, you know, not really super significant because anybody could be displaying the energies of any of these signs at any point. Um, Aquarius, we are going to dig deeper into this at the extended. If you are joining me over on Vimeo, I shall see you over there. Hop on over. I'll, I should be there. Um, for those of you that are here, we part ways until your next video. Have an absolutely wonderful week. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Be sure to hit the thumbs up and I will see you again soon. Oh, Vimeo people, link down below in the description box or in the comments. Have a great day. Bye-bye.